Sean Adams here with FinancialFreedomFunnel.com and my goal is to help every small business achieve more success through automation and simplification. There's a few things that every small business needs to be able to focus in on, have clarity on, and really understand well in order to help ensure that they're going to have the success that they deserve as a small business. There are three central keys to small business success and today I'm going to go through each one step by step to help you understand exactly what it is that you can be doing as a small business owner to achieve greater success and a lot of things that you can do to automate and to simplify so that you're spending your time doing the things that are important for making your business work instead of just working on your business. Now, the first thing that people need to understand and have true clarity, clarity on when it comes to making their small business success is they absolutely have to be able to identify the need or needs of the person that they're working with. Every single person, small business out there is trying to solve a problem for someone. There are people out there that are stuck here. They're over here in this area. We're going to call this Pain Island. This is where they are stuck. It's uncomfortable. Something's not working right for their business, and they know that they need to be doing something else. They've got a need that you, as a small business owner, can address. It might be that you are a CrossFit gym and the need is somebody needs to lose weight. They're in pain because they're unhappy with how they look, they're, they feel overweight, they, they don't like the way they feel in their body, whatever that might be. And you want to get them over to here, which is Pleasure Island, which is that place of joy and happiness and, and just where they feel they want to be. And your job as the business owner is to connect, get them from Pain Island over to Pleasure Island, but the place it starts is here in Pain Island. What is the need this person has that you and your small business is especially qualified to be able to help? I am especially qualified to help small business owners automate and simplify so that they have greater success and can spend the time doing what they want to be doing, working with the customers they want to be working with, instead of spending a lot of time doing busy work that isn't actually helping to grow their business. That's where the automation and simplification comes in. That's what I do. Your pain is that you don't feel like you have enough time. Your pain is that you don't aren't making enough money. Your pain is that you're not having the level of success that you want. That's the pains I address. That's the needs I address in my business as a small business owner. As a small business owner, you have to be crystal clear on the pains that you have, the needs that you are uniquely qualified for being able to address. Next, the next thing you have to get clear on as a small business owner is what is it that you actually offer? They're over here and you've identified they've got a need. There's a pain that they're struggling with and that you want to be able to help them. And you want to get them over here, which is that pleasure island where you want them to be. The, what you offer is that boat, that bridge, that whatever form you want it to talk about, but it's taking them from where their need is to where their desired outcome is. What you offer is that way to get there. And it might just be the simple fact that you offer a great pair of shoes because somebody needs a good pair of shoes. You're a shoe store, you offer that. You might be a chiropractor and what you offer is helping somebody feel more present in their body so they can live a happier, healthier life. You might be that CrossFit gym, and what you offer is a bunch of classes for people to get fit. Actually, the classes are part of it, but really what you offer is a plan, support, and a community that enables somebody to get fit. This is what you need to understand, have clarity on, and really, really know clearly what it is exactly that you offer. I offer coaching and consulting to help small businesses automate and simplify. That means I can take your business, what you're currently doing, talk to you, find out the things that aren't working well for you, find out where you want to get as a small business, and come up with strategies to get you there through automation and simplification. 
That might be through autoresponder series. That might be through automating your social media posts so that you're driving some more traffic and establishing yourself as an authority. There's lots of ways we can automate. It might be in just in the delivery process. If you've got a product that you want them to get and you want them to get it, how are you doing that? Are you the person who's actually physically sticking that CD in a box, taking it to the post office, getting it mailed, doing a... You know what? There's ways to automate that so you don't have to do that. Are you manually on a piece of paper tracking each person you're calling and each prospect and what they said? You don't need to do that. There, you could just have a screen open on your page, set questions, whatever they answer. You click a button, yes or no, true or false, X amount of money, whatever it is, and you just fill out your questionnaire while you're on the phone with the person. That information gets put into a system that you can then just pull up that person's record, know it, and based on their answers, you're going to know if they're an ideal client, somebody that you should just nurture to get to an ideal client, or somebody who is not a, does not have a need that matches what you offer. If you can do some of that automation, or even better, instead of you having to be on the call and asking those questions, that could just be the intro survey somebody does. They want to get to know you and schedule a time to talk to you, fill out this survey first so that you, when you're actually on the phone with them, have all the information you need, don't have to do as much research, and can make sure you're addressing their needs better, quicker, and faster to match whatever it is that you offer. So those are the first two keys to success in small business. you got to know what the needs of your clientele, your ideal prospect are, and you've also got to really understand what it is you offer. Now, this is the third piece, and I'm going to admit, this is the piece that a lot of people fall short on. They forget that this piece is so important, and that piece is you've got to actually deliver what it is you say you're going to deliver. If you've got somebody who's got a need, you tell them, I've got this that's going to help you. If you don't actually deliver it, they're still going to have that need, and you're not going to actually have a successful offer. The ultimate goal is if you are delivering your product, you're delivering whatever your service is consistently, effectively, efficiently, so that needs are getting solved through your offer, so you get people over here in Pleasure Island, what you've done is created a raving fan. And eventually those raving fans are going to tell other people about how amazing you were, and you're never going to have to actually do another cold call or even worry about trying to promote yourself because you're going to have so many referrals coming in because people, a lot of people have the needs that you're addressing. And you know that now that your offer can help them, and these other people, you delivered it, they've got their needs met, they're going to go to that other person that they know that has that, have that need, because that's pretty consistent. You hang out with the people who have the same problems you have. They're going to find the other people who have that similar need and say, you know what, I don't have that problem anymore. It's been solved because I worked with XYZ Business. They were fantastic. They had exactly what I needed, and they gave it to me in a way that worked for me so I could be successful. When you do that, your referrals go up, your recognition goes up, the time, energy, and effort you have to put into getting new customers goes down, your delivery becomes automated and efficient so they're getting what they need, when they need it, how they need it, over and over and over again because it works. And now you, as a small business owner, have more time for what you want to be doing, which is working with your ideal prospects and high-end clients. More money because you are actually delivering on a consistent basis your offer to people who have needs, so you're getting more and more people in with less effort. So you've got that time, you've got that money, now you're just generally a more successful business where you can actually hire more people, pay them to do even more of this piece, and you eventually just put your feedback up as the small business owner instead of the person running a small business. Now you oversee a small business, you're still getting all of the same benefits, but you've also hired more people, benefiting more lives, changing more lives by helping them with their needs, and you are overall getting more vacation time, spending more time with your family, and genuinely having more fun. If you follow this structure of the three keys to business success, identify the needs of your clients, what they need, who they are, what is that ideal prospect, and what is it you are uniquely qualified to help your offer, how do you how is it that you are uniquely qualified? What is it that you offer that makes you uniquely qualified? And then you got to make sure you deliver it. You can't just know that they need it and have the perfect product. You got to make sure it gets delivered to them so they use it, they have the success, so they become a raving fan, talk nonstop about you, and recruit all of the people you need for you all the time, less effort for you. Three keys to business success. I am Sean Adams with Financial Freedom Funnel. 
Good luck and cheers.